uh, make some kind of uh, discussion in light of uh, the challenges that we're having today in this country between the electoral commission and the registration of uh, the PPF, the party that uh, is being started by uh, uh, the Honorable Lukwago and uh, Dr. Kiza uh, in light of uh, People's uh, Power Front. <clears throat> and then the challenges that they're having with the Electoral Commission, particularly in light of uh, the difference between PPF and PFF. Uh, PFF, of course, standing for People's Power uh, you know, Front uh, for Freedom. But let's begin by... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look at the, the act, the act, and by the act, I'm talking about the Political Parties and Other Organization Act 2000, I think, and five, particularly section seven, which the Electoral Commission is trying to base on to either delay or perhaps substantively reject or whatever you want to call it. But when you look at section seven, particularly 1C, it says that uh, uh, method for registration of political parties and organization. It says they should provide a full description of identifying symbols, slogans, and colors of the political party or organization, if any. And I think that is the that is the what the magic one. That is the the litmus test for them to understand that perhaps PPF, if at all they have not provided the details of what is required, and as far as that provision is concerned then maybe that's where the lacuna is coming from. That's where perhaps the delay is coming from. But also when you read that, we may want to read that also together with section eight. Let me look for you section eight. Section eight, prohibition of certain identifying symbols, ETC. They are saying a political party organization shall not submit to the electoral commission for the purpose of registration under section seven, any identifying symbol, slogan, color, or name which is the same or similar with the symbol, slogan, color, or name of the initials. Now, what is extremely important for us to understand is that in spite of this, we have got substantive parties in this country, parties like DP, parties like Social Democratic Party, parties like PPP, the one of Bidandi Sali, parties like PDP, the one of uh, Abedi Chiwanuka, that have names that almost are similar. In fact, they even parties that have substantive colors that are similar. Let's talk about parties like what? FDC, for example, it has got blue. And the one, the blue that FDC has, according to Honorable Lukwago, is discreditable or perhaps distinct or different from the sky blue. You know, sky blue and royal blue are quite different. So, the, we've also got other parties, by the way, that have got the same color. We've got blue, for example, by Nook, which is the dominant color. We've got blue by Justice uh, Forum as a party, which is also dominant. Then UPC blue is also dominant. So we are seeing different shades of blue, okay, under the color, color code blue. So that can easily be distinguishable. Now, if the Electoral Commission is asking for those details that can be able to make a distinction in terms of those nitty-gritties of the different shades, then... It is incumbent upon PPF to furnish them with those details. Now, if PPF has furnished them with those details, regardless of the fact that there may be a semblance of PPF with PFF, that, in my opinion, shouldn't be a very big what challenge. Because we have got, as I said, parties that have almost the same symbols, or rather different symbols that are similar. We've got DP, like I told you, we've got Social Democratic Party that is similar. We've got PPP, then we've got PDP. So, but the distinguishing factors are those nitty gritties that the law says should be furnished. So if PPF has furnished those details, then I see no reason why the Electoral Commission should stop in any way the registration of PPF. Now, there are those who are arguing that, listen, PPF, the one that is people's uh, you know, power front, the one that the Lukwagos are trying to register, is similar with PFF, which is, quote-unquote, already, according to Electoral Commission, already registered as a party. Lukwago is saying, when you check the gazettes, that party is not registered. It is in the process. So there is no reason why they should stop them from being registered, in spite of the fact that there may be some similarities. But again, these similarities, again, are distinguishable. In law, 
it's almost impossible for you to patent a color. I think some of you are aware, I like the fact that there was a time when, for example, uh, the red bullet, you know, was being patented as a color. And Noob had a struggle with, with, with the red bullet, you know, and they lost the case, you know. The red bullet people lost the case in the sense that it was impossible for you to patent a color. So when you're talking about those nitty gritties, they are easily distinguishable. So if these are easily distinguishable and PPF has furnished the Electoral Commission with those details as provided for in Section 7, 1C and Section 8, then there is no reason why they should be stopped from being registered as a party. I would understand if EC, like they are saying that, listen, there is a process of registration, but does this process of registration of PFF deter or stop the registration of PPF? That is the question of the day. In my opinion, there shouldn't be any stoppage in light of that because, number one, we are aware that time is about to catch up with them because they intend perhaps to stand or even front a candidate in terms of presidential, presidential elections. So we need to understand the dilemma that the nation is having right now. In my opinion, there shouldn't be any dilemma unless there's some kind of politics, gymnastics that is being played between these individuals. So we, we could also argue, I mean, there are other parties, for example, we could argue that PP, uh, PP, PPFF, for example, was founded or even registered by, 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 by an individual who comes from, 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 from the NRM bracket. Maybe he had anticipated and stopping, it was, his intention was to stop other people from registering any party that has slogans that are similar in that perspective. There are other parties, for example, that are, you know, uh, and spectre registered because of individuals who feel that they are trying to block an individual X because maybe they're worried of their political, uh, you know, uh, performance in the future. So rather than politics that is at play, the law is very clear. As long as you can make a distinction between these two different parties or these different shades in terms of slogan, in terms of color, then there is no reason why the Electoral Commission should actually stop these people from being registered. God bless you and thank you.